Welcome to the Rosetta Thurman Show, where I teach ambitious women entrepreneurs how to turn their expertise into six-figure online businesses. 12 years ago, I launched my first online business. Two years later, I quit my job and replaced my salary. Since then, I've been able to build a multiple six-figure business, helping women manifest the life and business of their dreams. And I know that if I can do it, you can do it too. So if you're ready to up-level your mindset, master your marketing, and increase your sales, this is definitely the podcast for you. Now let's get into the show. Hello, 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 ladies. Welcome back to the Rosetta Thurman Show. I'm so happy to be back here with you. I think the last episode I recorded, I was living in Virginia, and since then, I've had a little life update. (laughs) So I thought I'd kick off this episode with some updates on where I am and what I've been doing in my business. So we are now in Connecticut. We moved to Connecticut a few months ago because my honey bun got stationed here in the submarine capital of the world. He is in the military and he is on a submarine. So that is where we are for the next few years, most likely, but honestly, anything could happen. (laughs) So I have been exploring New England. We have taken some road trips. I'm really seeing how different it is up here. This is the furthest north I've ever been. We rented a house in the country. Well, everything is country around here. And it's so quiet and so beautiful. And yet I can hear the crickets. (laughs) And that's a noise I'm going to need some getting used to. I've also seen more animals than I've ever seen. Squirrels, raccoons, chipmunks, bunny rabbits, (laughs) and lots of bugs. So it is an adventure. In fact, we're calling this season of our lives the New England Adventures of Monty and Rosetta. So that's where I'm living, and that is the adventure that I'm on right now. So that's what's going on in my life. In terms of my business, I have really been enjoying running my Six Figure Queen Mastermind program. We have 20 amazing Black women entrepreneurs in the program right now, and it is my most favorite thing. I mean, the women are crushing their goals. The whole point of the program is to help you reach $100,000 or more cash in your business. And right now, we have women who are hitting um, $6,000 months, $12,000 months. They're selling five-figure programs and offers. They are being able to do things in their business that they never thought they'd do. I have three women who have quit their job or are about to quit their job and do their business full-time. It is the most inspiring uh, job that I have to coach these incredible women into their next level and be a part of their journey into freedom. So those are the two big things going on for me right now. And if you are wanting to be a part of my world and my work that I've been doing, then you will want to listen at the end because I'll tell you about my upcoming virtual event, the Six Figure Queen Virtual 3-Day Boot Camp. And I'll be covering in depth the topics that I'm going to be highlighting today. So today I want to talk about the six pillars of building a six-figure online business. So what my clients in my mastermind program have been learning and implementing across this year has all been focused on these six pillars that I'm going to talk about today, and we'll be going more in-depth on all of these areas in my Six Figure Queen three-day virtual boot camp happening October 2nd through the 4th. So I just want to clarify, what do I mean by a six-figure online business? It's a term that's been thrown around a lot, and of course, it's a milestone that a lot of Black women entrepreneurs have. It's a milestone that, unfortunately, most business owners never reach to earn six figures cash, $100,000 or more cash in their business in a year. And when I talk about it, what I mean is that You know, in a calendar year between January and December, you know, you are bringing in $100,000 or more cash, not sales. I mean, actually in your business bank account, 
you're making between eight to ten thousand dollars a month. And eventually, the goal is for you to be able to pay yourself a salary of six figures. So you'll be paying yourself between eight to ten thousand dollars a month, right? So you can do more with your life, you can. Um, really fund your dream lifestyle. That's what I mean when I'm talking about building a six-figure online business. So what I found in my journey, especially from hitting my first six-figure year in 2014, and every year since then, um, I've done multiple six-figure years, that there are certain areas that I have to pay attention to in my business to make sure those milestones happen to make sure that my financial goals are met. So I'm going to go through the six pillars today. And I'd love for you to really uh, listen and think about which pillar you need to work on the most in your business right now. And if you want to go deeper, then I invite you to join me at my Six Figure Queen three-day virtual boot camp happening October 2nd through the 4th. And I'll put the registration link for the event in the show notes. So the first pillar of building a six-figure online business is mindset. You may hear a lot of people talking about mindset and you may think it's all about affirmations and journaling and that's part of maintaining a strong mindset as a black woman entrepreneur. But what it's really about for me is being intentional about stepping into a new identity as a six-figure black woman business owner. It is a new identity. If you've never done something before, you've got to understand and believe that that's something that you can do, right? So when you're stepping into a new identity, there's all types of things that come up. The lizard brain says, you can't do that. Who do you think you are? Different wounds from the past can come up and unresolved issues uh, that you may have about yourself may pop up and cause you to self-sabotage. And that's where a lot of women get stuck. So you have to work on your mindset if you want to be the kind of woman who earns six figures cash in her business. The second pillar is offers. You've got to have the kind of offers that can get you to six figures. And the problem that I see is that a lot of women are out there selling, you know, $27, $47, $97 things, and you just don't have a big enough audience to sell enough of those low cost offers to be able to make six figures. And you wonder why you're growing so slowly and why your business bank account is not showing what you wanted to show. So what I teach my clients is to have high end offers before you go in and create all this low end, low cost stuff. So having a suite of offers that you can provide in your business really allows you to get to that six-figure cash year so much faster. Now, number three, the third pillar of building a six-figure online business is marketing. So many women, they go straight to the marketing. They want to learn about social media. They want to figure out Instagram. They want to figure out how to do a podcast. They want to figure out how to, how to build their email list. And all of those things are important. Don't get me wrong. However, if you don't have the right mindset and if you don't have offers that convert and that your ideal client actually wants to buy, the marketing is always going to fall flat for you. So just keep that in mind as you think about how can you up-level your marketing to hit six figures cash in your business. So when it comes to the marketing, you've got to show up, be consistent, Let your idle client get to know, like, and trust you. So many of you are still hiding and you're afraid to be visible, but you wonder why you're not getting the clients that you want. They can't see you. If they can't see you, they can't buy from you, period. Now, number four, the fourth pillar is sales. This is something that everybody wants to make money, but nobody wants to sell, It takes most women some practice and some training to get good at sales. So if this is not like your your strong point, don't beat yourself up about it. But of course, you got to get some support with it. So I teach sales in three ways. I teach my clients to sell over the phone, in person, and online. 
So you got to know all three ways. You got to know how to do a discovery call or a, a free session. You've got to know how to write a sales page and you've got to know how to host a profitable event depending on how you want to sell. But those are the three most powerful ways that I've sold in my business over the years. Number five is systems. Having the right systems in place is going to make sure that you are ready to receive $100,000 or more cash into your business. So many women, they still don't have payment gateways in place, business bank accounts in place. If, it, if people literally can't pay you, you can't make money, right? Um, but also just, do you have an email service where you can send out emails properly? Do you have an online scheduler so that you're not going back and forth with potential clients about when you're going to do your discovery call, right? You have to have systems and some automation in place so that you can focus on, you know, doing your sales, doing your marketing and working with your clients. And then the final pillar is your team. Your team is so important. And in the beginning, It may be an intern, it may be a virtual assistant, it may be your 19 year old daughter, you know, but you need people to help you. You need help at home and in your business. And so when I teach about team, I have my clients really look at where can you free up time? What's taking up the most time for you right now at home and in your business? And those are the first things that you want to look to outsource and get a team to help you. So those are the six pillars. I'm going to do a recap. And again, I want you to identify which one of these pillars do you need to work on the most right now in your business. So number one, mindset, right? That is so, so important. You got to step into your new identity as a six-figure black woman entrepreneur, or you're going to keep playing small at the level that you may be at right now. Number two was offers. You cannot keep charging $47 and expect to hit thousands of dollars of sales every month. It, the, the numbers just don't add up. You got to make it easy for yourself and have high-end offers before you, you know, go too crazy with these $50 things. The third pillar is marketing. Marketing is not just posting selfies on social media. You've got to be intentional. You got to understand who your ideal client is, what you're selling, and what's going to be the best marketing to get their attention. And yes, that may involve um, social media posts, email marketing, podcast, um, all of those kinds of things. The fourth pillar is sales. Sales are the lifeblood of your business. Sales is like oxygen to your business and you got to know how to sell in different ways. You, you need to know how to sell over the phone, online, on a sales page. Um, and now people are selling a lot of um, offers and services doing live and virtual events. So you have to have proven ways that you can sell and make money with your audience. And then the fifth one is systems. You have to have your systems in place. You got to have your house in order to the point where you know that when you make a sale, everything happens automatically, right? When someone buys something, they get a welcome email and they get access to their thing and you don't have to be the one figuring that out. The money goes into your business bank account. It gets processed by PayPal or Stripe or whatever, right? You got to have all those systems in place so that you don't have to worry about that minutia. And then the last one is team. That's when I talked about um, really getting clear on what you need to free up your time so you can be the CEO, you can be the boss, you can be the leader, and you can have a lot of these other tasks taken up by someone else. So which one do you need to work on the most in your business right now? One, two, three, four, five, or six. Maybe you need to work on multiple things, right? And that's totally fine. But what I want you to do before you leave this podcast is uh, decide on one thing you can do today to move you forward in one of these pillars. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to get support, if you want to get trained on each of these six pillars in depth for three days with me, virtually, 
from home, no travel required, then I am personally inviting you to attend my Six Figure Queen three-day virtual boot camp. It's happening October 2nd through the 4th. We already have 60, 60 amazing Black women entrepreneurs attending, and I would love to have you join us. So if you want to attend, go to rosettathurman.com slash bootcamp. That's rosettathurman.com slash bootcamp. And I'll also put the link in the show notes. I hope to see you there. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to message me on Facebook and I will be happy to chat with you. Thank you for listening to the Rosetta Thurman Show. If you enjoyed this episode, there are two things you can do. Number one, leave me a rating and a review on iTunes. It would mean so much to me if you took a moment out of your time to post what you thought of the show. It will help me reach so many more women and help them with their business. Number two, join my free Facebook group, Scale to Six Figures. This is where I post free live streams, trainings, and I give inspiration and advice every single day. You can join the group by going to scaletosixfigures.com. Until next time, remember, you can do anything you want with your life and no one can stop you but you.